How about them apples for you? Hi! Welcome back to Jane Has a Problem. <laughs> no, but I'm not going to apologize for who I am. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not going to apologize. My name is Jane. I love art supplies. I love all things art. If you feel so inclined to hit that subscribe button, please feel free to do so. Make sure you got the notification bell on and enjoy the rest. Look, if you're looking for a sophisticated art channel, you are not at the right place. <laughs> okay, so due to technical errors, I will not be filming on the other camera unless uh, we decide to change things later on. I could just edit it out. <sighs> However, let's just go ahead and continue. <laughs> This is not just a Blick unboxing. This is actually part of a Mother's Day haul that I, well, partially it's from my own money and um, it was also given to me. So, in lieu of Mother's Day. Anyways, I'm just gonna first start off with this 72, whoa, I just bumped the camera. I promise that my world is not this chaotic. It just seems to be this way tonight as I film. <laughs> So forgive me. Um, like I said, if you're looking for a smooth, sophisticated art video, this is probably not going to be one of them. <laughs> Anyways, this is like, I think I got this on Amazon at the Amazon warehouse for 10 bucks. It's 72, 72 slots for 72 pencils or pens or whatever I decided to put in there. Originally, I was going to put my Color Soft by Derwent in here. However, lately I have been using a lot of charcoal and oil pencils and everything. So I might just keep that for this and just get another one for the Color Soft. So, you know, you kind of have to improv sometimes. Also, if you haven't seen it yet, it depends on when I post it before or after, but I picked these up, these, uh, the Himi Gouache, which is 24 glorious colors. I'm going to zoom you in. These are the big sister, big brother, big, bigger sibling of the Himi Gouache 18. So this is kind of the travel friendly version. And this is the keep this at home and have some fun version. And, um, these are 80 milliliters, so look at all those beautiful bright colors. But this is a this is a downfall right here. Um, I'm not digging this, and oh my gosh, I just got it. <sighs> wonderful. Okay, I do have a separate video on that, so I am thoroughly enjoying those, and I know I will continue to enjoy those because I really enjoy these. Yeah, it, there is technically a way to travel with it, but it is very, very heavy, folks. So moving on, we're going to go ahead and unbox some stuff. Thank you for the individuals who alerted me on my last Blick unboxing video because I had accidentally left my address visible. Oops. And I had to go back into post-production and pixelate it out. Thank you so much. I believe it was two individuals. I don't remember your names. I'm so sorry, but I know that you have my gratitude. But I'm, going, I'm not going to let you see my address, but I will open this up. This is more of just the haul video versus a, it is an unboxing, but it's just a haul altogether. So I do remember some of the stuff that I ordered, but because of COVID-19, Blick have been back, backed up. So this, I don't know, I think I ordered this on the 5th and today is the 15th. So it's two days later. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I am so excited for these. These are the Sennelier Oil Pastels in the portrait version. I meant to zoom you out, but <laughs> sometimes I just don't know how to work a camera. Simple, basic camera. And, uh, you know, this is going to be fun because I recently did an oil pastel portrait for the 30 Faces 30 Days. I know you're probably sick of hearing about that, but, I mean... I gained a lot of experience in those 30 days of what I like and what I don't like. And uh, these are going to be nice. And these were on sale, I believe, for $45, which is a fantastic price. So you might want to catch that on sale. For some reason, and I don't mean any disrespect to the artist who created this, but it has always thrown me off for some reason. It has always distracted me. and been I, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. It's the eyes. But I do like it. I'm just not sure how I feel about it entirely. <laughs> Is that bad? I'm terrible. Okay, so we've got, ooh, tells you all about them. And kind of gives you a nice brochure on 
the history of the company and all of the colors of the oil pastels. Fantastic. Oh, nice. We've even got, wow. We've even got this and it talks about all their different art materials. So nice. I don't know if any of you all have tried their acrylics, but they're really buttery and smooth. I really like them and they're not too expensive either. I'm tempted to try their oils. Oh, my favorites right there, right there. Their, their line of watercolors. Also, I did a review on these, the La Petite Aquarelle. They are, they're the student watercolors, but oh my goodness, they're amazing for student watercolors. Let's just go ahead and I'm gonna stop jibber jabbering and take a look at those. Wow. Beautiful colors. They're like lipstick, really. And in all honesty, I really do like the Neo colors by Karin Dash. I'm sorry, the um, Neo pastels as well for different reasons. But these are so buttery smooth. I love them. They're fantastic. And they have a colorless blender. Not in this set, I don't think, but um, I do have one. You can buy it up in stock. Uh, just your basic kneaded eraser. But what I like about these is that they're extra big and they're cheaper than some of the other brands and they're just as good. So I really like the Blick brand. Very good stuff. Oh, I'm excited for these. Ooh, the art graph. Now I have their primary colors of um, water soluble graphite, which I should do a dedicated video to that. It's a really interesting art material. And so are these. And I just saw these earth tones and I thought those are absolutely gorgeous. Now I know that I love bright artwork, but there is something really lately that I've been falling in love with, with sepia, sepia, however you want to pronounce it. And uh, sang sanguine, is, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. But there's yellow ochre here. There's brown, there's dark brown, there's carbon black, sepia, sepia, and sanguine yeah so these are going to be beautiful also to complement that i thought i would get their monochrome set as well and um this is not going to be stark white from what i understand it just sort of adds gray grayer tones it just sort of lightens everything up um so i might need to use a white chalk pencil on top of that for highlights i'm not sure but there's carbon black and graphite and white so i am so, so happy that I have those now. I'm not going to make the same mistake before. You cannot see my address. These pit oil based pencils, um, they're soft and they're really, really nice, especially um, just as a sketching pencil and paired with like a white light wash of watercolor. I had one and I worked with it and then I ordered a second one because you could never have too many of them. And they, there was like two of them left, I think. And as you know, with this virus, there have been um, some things on back order from our supply company. So I thought I'd go ahead and grab it. So, all right, that's it. Ooh, 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 one last thing. I said the other thing was the one last thing, but I lied. <laughs> I also bought these um, Conti crayons or Conti pencils, I should say. And they are so lovely. Like I said, we've got the sepia and we've got graphite we've got some of the pierre noir and i am really excited to use these and plus these were only like 20 dollars on amazon so i have plenty to go through <laughs> now and i will be revealing how i work with these and how they worked out for me and i hope that you will join me on my journey so so thank you once again for joining me today we're going to test out some of these as well stay creative everyone stay inspired keep creating love you